What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I'm outside here. Just uh, took delivery of the Scott's Turf Builder Edge Guard DLX Broadcast Spreader. Uh, it's for taking care of your lawn, which is right here. And I just wanted to show it to you. I picked this one up because it wasn't that expensive and, uh, you know, wanted to get some crabgrass and weed granules down and didn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, but needed obviously something to do it and this is kind of like a walk behind spreader to apply that now it's supposed to be good for up to 15,000 square feet so my guess is you could probably put like a 25 pound bag of granules in here um, depending on how much you know square footage you actually have to put down and how often you may actually want like a toe behind spreader which is kind of what i wanted to ultimately get but not going to happen right now so this is how it comes i just took it out of the box and took off the um the wire zip tie that was holding it together but what you have here is this handle that kind of lifts up here and you have a couple of these plugs so i'm assuming that these just hold it in i will pull that out and lift up the handle here and then looks like there are a couple of knobs that tighten it down in place, kind of just like a push behind one more. Plus with that. Now there are some controls on it obviously up here. Looks like a pull bar here to open up the chute. You can see it pulls that and then opens up the chute right there. Looks like you have a little agitator here that probably spins as you push it along, which it does. It kind of gets it into the, gets it in the hole. You also have a spreader setting right here, a dial that goes all the way down to single digits, up to double digits. And so that I think will be effective for uh, distributing different amounts. And then you also have this little bad boy here, edge guard off and on. Now what that does is the cable pulls up here to this little edge guard. So my guess is if I go ahead and now flip the switch, this piece rotates to the back. And so basically what you're doing here is if you are trying to keep the spray from going into like let's say you're doing like a broadleaf plant killer and you're near your plants, you'd want to use this edge guard so that you don't spray it into your plant beds or maybe water or something like that. Otherwise, it's going to just sit here in the back because right now I've got it set to off. And then if I turn it on, it's going to do the edge guarding. Now, that edge guarding is always going to be on your right side. You can see here if I flip it up. It's always going to be preventing it from flying out this side, so just kind of keep that in mind. But pretty cool, pretty nice little thing. Obviously, I don't think for most, in most cases, you'll need that on there. Obviously, everything is right there. Uh, for me, being five foot eight, this is with the exact right height. You do have a little kickstand right there, so you can set it up while you're filling it, or you don't have to worry about it falling over. Everything on this looks like kind of like ABS plastic. You know, these look like either painted or powder coated metal bars, but they're hollow. You do have a grippy kind of rubberized handle up here, but everything else, aside from the wires here, you know, we've got the plastic plunger, plastic dial, plastic switches up here, obviously a big plastic basin. The, the door right there is plastic, plastic little agitator. Um, if we look down here on the bottom, the uh, kickstand right there, is metal but even the wheels as you can see here are all plastic and that's obviously you've got kind of this gear here that spins the spinner but this little spinner is plastic 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 everything is plastic and then if you look kind of closely at the spinner you can see it's kind of a square shaped tray a little bit of a kick up here to kind of give some things some altitude as it's spinning and then you have fins of varying heights there to kind of throw everything around but um, you know just should work pretty well but I just kind of wanted to point out I know a lot of people talk about 
the reliability of these things, especially when they're plastic. So if you don't want something plastic, then this isn't the one for you. But now the, the real key is how does it work, which we will find out. So the thing does work. I actually put 30 pound of Scott's halts into the spreader here and was spreading it around. It actually kind of spreads probably about a foot and a half to two feet uh, on either side. So you get a pretty big broadcast pattern. And then uh, the, the edge stop actually does work. And as you can see here, it might be a little hard, but on my right side, it's not throwing the Scott's halts out to the right. So it's good for being able to do detail work around your lawn. From the Scott's Turf Builder Edge Guard DLX. Peter Bombanda out.